artery. The right and left coronary arteries, they arises from the aortic sinuses. So what are the aortic sinuses? They are the outpouching at coronary arteries. Are they outpouching at the base of the aorta? These aortic sinuses are mainly three in numbers, the anterior and posterior. Posterior is then divided into right and the left. Clear then? This boy keep it all. Reply you keep kindly. The sinuses are two in number, or they are into anterior sinus and the posterior aortic sinuses. Posterior aortic sinuses are then they are into right and the left one. Okay. What's push with this, Apuri? <clears throat> the right coronary artery arises from the anterior aortic sinus. Remember this thing, the right coronary artery chikanda, this arises from the anterior aortic sinus. XRMCQ, see the arising. See the right coronary artery arises from the which sinus? And this is the anterior aortic sinus. The left one arises or the left coronary artery arises from the posterior aortic sinuses and more specifically from the left posterior aortic sinus. Right coronary artery arises from the anterior aortic sinus. Right one from the anterior aortic sinus. Left coronary artery arises from the left posterior aortic sinus. Now these coronary arteries and their branches, they are distributed all over the surface of the heart and supply various parts of the heart. The right and left coronary arteries gives off various branches. Those branches are distributed over the surface of the heart and they supply the various parts. These are pretty clear then. I'm going to repeat the sinuses. Most of the students, the postgraduate sinuses, repeat. Sinuses chidi da the anterior and posterior sinus, aortic sinus. Posterior aortic sinus is then divided into the right one and the left one. Tasu dumra yat saatai chhe. The right coronary artery, anterior aortic sinus, ne rise kigi left coronary artery from the left posterior aortic sinus. Clear? Now we are going to discuss the each artery, right and left coronary artery and their branches. First of all, the right coronary artery, right coronary artery is smaller than the left coronary artery. Delta Malikale LCA, LCA means left coronary artery. The right one is smaller than the left coronary artery. <clears throat> the right coronary artery after arising from the anterior aortic sinuses passes forward between the pulmonary trunk and the right auricle. So diagram, diagram ki, 
दे तो गए रे राइट कोरोनरी आर्टरी दे डायग्राम के फायर पल्मोनरी ट्रंक ने दे वर्क रेश हुए ने हट शुए देते और दिस राइज दिस रन्स फॉरवर्ड बिटवीन द ऑरिकल राइट ऑरिकल एंड द पल्मोनरी ट्रंक Right coronary arteries then descends vertically in the anterior atrioventricular groove. Atrioventricular groove, it is the groove between the atria and the ventricles. That is the atrioventricular groove. So the right coronary artery descends vertically in the anterior atrioventricular groove. Did I put a push wing? Okay, so the right coronary artery after descending in the anterior interventricular groove reaches the inferior border of the heart. At the inferior border of the heart, the heart in heart make you be able to detail when you be able to anterior border, inferior border, superior border, diaphragmatic border, the come border, see you be able to heart for cross in heart make you. For detail, when the way you will lecture, when you can learn easily. At the anterior, inferior border of the heart, the right coronary artery continues posteriorly, and it anastomoses with the branches of the left coronary artery. Diagram ki tasu gari da. Right coronary artery, after descending downward, reaches the inferior border of the heart. The gori da pointer. And then it anastomoses with the branches from the left coronary artery. Clear? Sinuses again. I'm going to repeat. Sinuses, anterior and posterior aortic sinuses. दायो डायग्राम कितना सुबह हुआ रही थी एटलस के डायग्राम्स थे और क्या बनता है युगल गली साइनसेस दे आर टू इन नंबर एंटीरियर एंड पुस्टीरियर एवोटिक साइनस पुस्टीरियर एवोटिक साइनसेस आर देन डिवाइडेड इनटू राइट एंड लेफ्ट वन एंटीरियर एवोटिक साइनस एंड पुस्टीरियर एवोटिक साइनस पुस्टीरियर इज देन डिवाइडेड इ Diagram to go right. This is the right coronary artery runs between the right auricle and the pulmonary trunk, descends vertically in the atrioventricular groove. The other one is the that is the come go right. That is the branches are with the same as descends in the atrioventricular groove at the inferior border of the heart. It turns posteriorly. Chikala the right coronary artery. The heart inferior border tar aur ese hi nuaag zeki turn she and the turn to the posterior surface of the heart. At the posterior surface of the heart, it anastomoses with branches from the left coronary artery. The tasur dia diagram ki nahi chida circumflex coronary artery. These are the branches of the left coronary artery. लेक्चर के पहले लेक्चर के वो मुख्य मंगल दवाई लेफ्ट एंटीरियर डिसेंडिंग आर्टरी अगेन अ ब्रांच ऑफ़ द लेफ्ट कोरोनरी आर्टरी एन अस्टमोसेस डी कनेक्शन अनुराई एन अस्टमोसेस डी कनेक्शन बिटवीन डी टू वेसल्स क्लियर दे वासन The groove is not the bicuspid wall. Bicuspid wall is inside the heart. 
this groove is the on this surface of the heart. This is a proportional tool. 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 Clear? Okay. Atrioventricular groove, it is the junction between the atria and the ventricle. Here, coronary artery. First one is the right conus artery. The right conus artery is the branch that supplies the anterior surface of the pulmonary conus and the upper part of the anterior wall of the right ventricle. The right ventricle anterior wall, the upper part, and the Anterior surface of the pulmonary conus. Pulmonary conus, what is this? Pulmonary conus is the upper dilated portion of the right ventricle that leads into the pulmonary trunk. Take that clear there was. That was a sister and the chair kick up the goi. That was a good outcome. तो उसे चेट के गप लगा हुए हो चुके हैं जब कम स्लाइड हुए हैं मगर न बाद भी आता है उसमें तो इधर रिपीट के तंजील खान लेसन इंटरवेंट्रिकुलर ग्रू एंड दे एंटीरियर वेंट्रिकुलर ग्रू इंटरवेंट्रिकुलर ग्रू मतलब दे द दो वेंट्रिकल्स कॉमन्स के चिकम ग्रू दा दिस इज़ दे इंटरवेंट Ventricular groove. Then it is divided into anterior and posterior. Anteriorly, the ventricles common sketch come groove there. That is, that is the anterior ventricular groove. Posterior chicken there. This is the posterior interventricular, posterior ventricular or the posterior interventricular groove. Diagram K is the Kanishte, Chehar diagram Matanum Milosha. Stas Atlas, Kichikam book there, Ari Kishta. Right, Kona Sartre Vanta Stol Poshmi. The second one is the anterior ventricular branch. As the name indicates, these branches supply the anterior surface of the right ventricle. Anterior ventricular branches, these branches supply the anterior surface of the right ventricle. Again, a few students are asking conus, pulmonary conus. Pulmonary conus is the dilated, listen, pulmonary conus is the dilated upper part of the right ventricle that leads or that opens into the pulmonary trunk. Pulmonary conus is the dilated upper part of the right ventricle that opens into the pulmonary trunk. Third branch is the marginal artery. 
marginal artery is the largest branch of the right coronary artery and runs along the costal surface of the heart to reach the apex again the total surfaces we will be in next lecture ki why costal surfaces diaphragmatic surface the next lecture ki razi <coughs> remember costal surface is surface of the heart that is facing the ribs marginal artery is the largest branch of the right coronary artery runs along the costal surface of the heart to reach the apex where is the apex present diagram is at the same this is the apex of the heart pointer chikam dekhe this is the apex of the heart this area is called pointer chikam dekhe so point com and this is the base of the heart <clears throat> so marginal artery is the largest branch of the right coronary artery runs along the costal surface of the heart to reach the apex was clear then the fourth branch is the posterior ventricular branch as the name indicates this branch supply the posterior ventricular area or more specifically this branch supply the diaphragmatic surface of the heart diaphragmatic surface is the surface of the heart that rest or that lies on the diaphragm diaphragm abhyas ta sudha pa second year ki bhai khair the thoracic ka abdominal cavity bones ki partition the flap on the other side that is called the diaphragm respiration ki madad aur kai thorax ki bones ta sudha khair topic hua again i'm going to repeat the posterior ventricular branch is the branch that supply the diaphragmatic surface of the heart and these are usually two in numbers clear then so question said is a puri as for repetition chat of pakari is repeat kama kani pakari zama kedu now the posterior interventricular artery remember there were previous artery was the posterior ventricular this is the posterior interventricular artery this artery is also called posterior descending artery posterior interventricular artery is also called posterior descending artery this artery supplies branches to the posterior part of the ventricular septum but not the apical part remember posterior interventricular artery supplies the posterior part of the ventricular septum but not the apical part now what is the ventricular septum ventricular septum is the septum or the partition between the right and the left ventricle in about 10% of the individuals in about 10% of the people the posterior interventricular artery is replaced by a branch from the left coronary artery in 90% of the people the posterior interventricular artery is a branch of the right coronary artery but in about 10% of people the posterior interventricular artery arises from the left coronary artery now a septal branch from the posterior interventricular artery supplies the av node and is called nodal artery a separate branch from the posterior interventricular artery arises and supplies the av node 
which is called septal branch or the AV nodal or, or, or the nodal artery. Now the atrial branches, as the name indicates, these branches will supply the interior and lateral surfaces of the right atrium. One branch supplies the posterior surface of the both atrias. One branch from the atrial artery or the, from the atrial branches supply the right and left atria. Septal branch is a branch of the posterior interventricular artery that supplies the AV node. That is also called nodal artery. Atrial branches arises from the right coronary artery and supplies the anterior and lateral surface of the right atrium. One branch supplies the posterior surface of the both right and left atrials. Now artery to the SA node. This artery supplies the SA node. In about 35% of the peoples, this artery arises from the left coronary artery. But in the 65 to 70% of peoples, this artery arises from the right coronary artery. Again, I'm going to repeat artery to the SA node, AV node the Judah artery, SA node the Judah artery. Artery to the SA node, in some 35% of the individuals, it arises from the left coronary artery, but in majority of the people, it arises from the right coronary artery. Clear that is a pure? Now the left coronary artery. Diagram ki the diagram ki tafsir hoga re left coronary artery. The akashan di dari akashan course the which arises from the left posterior aortic sinuses and runs in the left port direction between the pulmonary trunk and left atria. The di the main branches di. The circumflex branch of the left coronary artery. Pointer chism of the Or the circumflex artery of the simply way. And then is the anterior interventricular branch or anterior interventricular artery, which is also called left anterior descending artery of immense clinical importance. Clinical importance. So the left coronary artery, it is larger than the right coronary artery and supply most part of the heart, including the greater part of the right atrium, sorry, of the left atrium, left ventricle and the ventricular septum. The left coronary artery after arising from the left posterior aortic sinus runs forward between the pulmonary trunk and the left auricle. It enters the atrioventricular groove, left atrioventricular groove. Again, it is a groove between the atria and the ventricles and divides into two main arteries. Number one is the anterior interventricular artery and the circumflex artery. <clears throat> Now the anterior interventricular artery, which is also called the left anterior descending artery. 
This artery runs downward in the anterior interventricular groove to the apex of the heart. Okay, I'm going to repeat. Listen, we are okay. Left coronary artery, the right coronary artery is na larger than. Left coronary artery is larger than the right coronary artery and supply most part of the heart, including greater part of the left atrium, left ventricle, and the ventricular septum. This artery, after arising, passes forward between the pulmonary trunk and the left auricle, like a sangachi right coronary artery or the shanti, the left coronary artery, the left auricle, and the pulmonary trunk common ski forward mode, forward direction kiladashi. It enters the, the atrioventricular groove and then diverts into two main branches. Anterior interventricular branch, which is also called left anterior descending artery and the circumflex artery. Anterior interventricular artery, it is also called left anterior descending artery or left anterior descending branch. This artery runs downward in the anterior interventricular groove and reaches the apex of the heart. At the apex of the heart, the anterior interventricular artery, in about one third of the individual, it ends there. But in the majority of the people, it anastomoses with the branches from the right coronary artery. Clear there, there's a point. Clear? In most of the individuals, it passes around the apex of the heart, as I said earlier, and an anastomosis with the terminal branches of the right coronary artery where does i repeat come one third of people it ends at the apex of the heart but in most of the individual it reaches the apex of the heart and then in astromosis with the terminal branches of the right coronary artery now the left anterior descending artery, it supplies the right and left ventricles and the anterior part of the ventricular septum. It supplies the right and left ventricles and the anterior part of the ventricular septum. Again, a small conus artery supplies the pulmonary conus. Pulmonary conus was also supplied by the branches from both the right coronary artery and the left coronary artery. Clear that there's a point? Now the circumflex artery, like I'm going to over this is the circumflex artery. Now you see it winds around the left border of the heart. Now you see it. Now you see it. Circumflex artery, it winds around the left margin of the heart at the atrioventricular groove. Left marginal artery is a branch of the circumflex artery that supplies the left margin of the heart up to the apex. Left marginal artery <clears throat> Left marginal artery is a branch of the circumflex artery that supplies the left margin of the heart up to the apex. Diagram This is the 
circumflex artery. This is the circumflex artery, delta arterial circumflex branch of the left coronary artery. Listen, come the key, the diagram came to the crash. This is the apex of the heart, it's directed downward. This is the base of the heart, comes in a major vessel there. This is the base of the heart. The heart should become gross in art media, but you can be the view what is the apex and what is best, but more detailed than the other way. This is the apex and this is the base of the heart. Now, the anterior and posterior ventricular branches, they supply the left ventricle. Anterior and posterior are the branches of the circumflex artery that supplies the left ventricle. Now the cardiac dominance. Cardiac dominance is described by which coronary artery gives of the posterior descending artery. Now, basis this is the right dominant heart and this is the left dominant heart. In about 70 to 80 percent of the people, the posterior descending artery is a branch of the right coronary artery, and such people are called the right dominant. Or the such heart is called right dominant heart. In about five to ten percent of population, the posterior descending artery arises from the left circumflex artery. Such individuals are called the left dominant. Clear the them. Cardiac dominance, Cardiac dominance, Munga Hare phenomena Tawaya Lamga Hare condition Tawayu Padi Kimga posterior descending artery, ya posterior descending branch mention ko. Kachatada posterior descending artery, the right coronary artery na arise chivi in Vidamangawayu, right dominant, which is in most of the people, like 70 to 80 percent of people. The right, the sorry, the posterior descending artery arises from the right coronary artery. This is the right dominant. In 5 to 10 percent of population, the posterior descending artery chida the arise from the left circumflex artery or from the left coronary artery. The left dominant or English game cardiac dominance is described by which coronary artery gives of the posterior descending artery. In about 70 to 80 percent of population, it arises from the right coronary artery and is called the right dominant. In 5 to 10 percent of the population, the posterior descending artery arises from the left circumflex artery and the left circumflex artery as you already know is a branch of the left coronary artery so these people are these are, are called the left dominant now in about 10 to 20 percent of the individual, the posterior descending artery is supplied by both or is a branch of the both right coronary artery and the left circumflex artery. 
again for certain 10 to 20 percent of kalgu key the posterior descending artery it arises from both the right coronary artery and this left circumflex artery such individuals are called co-dominant clear then in about 10 to 20 percent of individuals the posterior descending artery is supplied by the both right coronary artery and the left circumflex artery or posterior descending artery is a branch of the both right coronary artery and the left circumflex artery such individuals are called the co-dominant most of the right dominant which are the posterior descending artery, the right coronary artery in RIS3, left dominant in case the posterior descending artery arises from the left coronary artery. Co-dominant, in this case, the posterior descending artery is a branch of the both right coronary artery and the left circumflex artery. Now clear? The terms the left dominant, right dominant, co dominant. How come artery pedi can involve the hawa? Now, what is the arterial supply to the conducting system of the heart? That is the SN node, AV node, bundle branches, right bundle branch, left bundle branch, AV node. The SN node is supplied by the right coronary artery but in some individuals it is supplied by the left coronary artery the av node and av bundle are supplied by the left coronary artery right bundle branch is supplied by the left coronary artery left bundle branch is supplied by the left coronary artery and the right coronary artery clear then I'm going to repeat. SA node is supplied by the right coronary artery. Just remember Dumra. So the SA node is supplied by the right coronary artery. AV node and AV bundle branches. AV node and AV bundles are supplied by the left coronary artery. The right bundle branch is supplied by, by the left coronary artery. The left bundle branch is supplied by the right coronary artery plus the left coronary artery. Now the clinical nodes or the clinical features. But the coronary arteries key is certain blockage key ki, ya padi ki atherosclerotic deposition key ki. fatty changes padi ki key ki, the lumen chede di kamde roro narrow key ki. A sudden blockage of the large branch of the coronary artery will lead to the necrosis of that part of the cardiac muscle. Which of the coronary artery branch block he, their blockage is due to the thrombosis or the atherosclerotic narrowing. Now that part of the heart will be defrayed of the blood and will lead to necrosis. Bundle branch, the Vata superconducting system of the heart. Kiwai, what is the bundle branch? Was that the time like there? That's the Pugum the Puriki. But my Sati bundle branch is the part of the conducting system of the heart. Most cases of these blockage are caused by the acute thrombosis, thrombosis of blood clot, or the atherosclerotic narrowing. The toll phenomena, thrombosis, vata sumpa, physiology, kiwili, atherosclerotic sclerosis, yeah, atherosclerotic narrowing, don't that's what physiology kiwili. Now the atherosclerotic or the disease of the coronary artery may present in either three ways. That may be either the general degeneration and fibrosis of the myocardium. Another feature that can present is the angina pectoris. Angina pectoris is the chest pain that is caused by exertion. Myocardial infarction occurs when there is complete blockage of the branch of the coronary artery. In case of